Hello and welcome to Mina Care. A study published in the Journal of Hospital Infection has found that beards may contain bacteria which could potentially be developed into new antibiotics. Researchers also found that clean-shaven men were actually more likely to harbor infection-causing bacteria resistant to antibiotics when compared to bearded men. The study tested swabs from the faces of 408 hospital staffers with and without facial hair to reach the conclusion. According to the research findings, clean-shaven men are more than three times as likely to be carrying methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA, on their cheeks compared to their bearded counterparts. Clean-shaven men were also 10% more likely to have colonies of Staphylococcus aureus on their faces, a bacterium that causes skin and respiratory infections and food poisoning. Researchers suggest this may be due to microabrasions in the skin caused by shaving, which may support bacterial colonization and proliferation. The report says, overall, colonization is similar in male healthcare workers with and without facial hair. However, certain bacterial species were more prevalent in workers without facial hair. Dr. Adam Roberts, a microbiologist from University College London, was able to grow over 100 different bacteria from beard swab samples in a separate analysis. Among the petri dishes, he found the presence of a microbe that appeared to be killing the other bacteria. Dr. Roberts isolated the microbe and tested it against a form of E. coli that causes urinary tract infections and found the microbes killed the bacterium effectively. The current stock of antibiotics is quickly becoming ineffective, with antibiotic-resistant infections killing at least 700,000 people a year. No new antibiotics have been released in the past 30 years. Dr. Roberts compared the findings to Alexander Fleming's success with penicillin, which was discovered by chance when a fungus spore was accidentally blown into his lab onto a petri dish. Fleming noticed the bacteria he was growing in the dish had died around the area the spore had landed. Subsequent research led to penicillin as it is known today. Hope you liked this video. For more such health related videos, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.